The F-35 Lightning II is the first of today's American fifth generation jet fighters. This video discusses the aircraft firsts of all five generations. The P-59 Era Comet was the first American jet-powered aircraft. It made its first flight in October 1942. The original American jet engines, the GEIA centrifugal turbojets, worked, but left the P-59 severely underpowered. In fly-offs against America's frontline piston-powered fighters of the time, the P-59 fared badly. The Era Comet never saw combat. The P-80 Shooting Star was the first operational American jet fighter. It first flew in January 1944. The GE J-33 engines provided the power for the P-80 to reach speeds of 550 miles per hour. The P-80 did not reach combat in World War II but was America's frontline fighter when the Korean conflict began in 1950. Early in the Korean War, a shooting star shot down a Russian MiG-15 in the first jet versus jet battle in history. The F-86 Sabre was America's first swept wing jet fighter. It made its maiden flight in October of 1947. A single GE J-47 engine powered the single pilot F-86 to speeds of over 600 miles per hour. The F-86 was the first jet fighter to achieve air superiority. It is considered one of the greatest fighter aircraft of all time. It served in Korea. The F-9F Cougar was the first swept-wing carrier-based jet fighter. Its original flight was in September 1951. With its J-48 turbojet engine, the Cougar reached speeds of over 640 miles per hour. It also served in Korea. The second generation continued with evolutionary development of several approaches to high-speed flight. The fastest fighter ever, the F-4 Phantom reached speeds in excess of 1,700 miles per hour. Powered by the General Electric J-79 turbojet engines, the F-4 represented the pinnacle of second-generation fighters. It first roared into the air in May of 1958. The F-4 served as the principal air superiority fighter for the Air Force, Navy, and Marines in the Vietnam War. Machines like the IBM 7090 mainframe in the 1960s brought massive computer power to aircraft designers, allowing ever more sophisticated designs. Practical onboard computing such as the IBM system 4Pi brought fly-by-wire and other dramatic aircraft, airborne weapon, and other performance enhancements. The F-16 Fighting Falcon was the first fighter designed consistent with the energy maneuverability theory. Its flying career began in 1974. The F-16 stressed low drag and light weight to double the maneuverability and range of the F-4 Phantom. Fly-by-wire allowed relaxation of static stability, greatly increasing response time to a pilot's control demands. With all its firsts, the F-16 Fighting Falcon proved the ultimate third-generation fighter. It served in the Middle East. The F-A-22 Raptor improved on everything learned from the F-16 and added radar invisibility. It started flying in 1997. On radar, the Raptor appears the size of a bumblebee. Two Pratt & Whitney F-19 engines make the F-A-22 Raptor fast, up to 1,500 miles an hour, and makes the F-A-22 the first to achieve sustained supersonic flight. 
It's served in the Middle East. The single-engined F-35 Lightning II delivers FA-22-like performance while removing the need for long, fixed runways. It left the ground for the first time in 2006. The F-35 is the first STOVL supersonic aircraft. It uses thrust vectoring from Pratt & Whitney's F-135 engine augmented by a lift fan for low speed and vertical flight and digital control for stability. The Air Force, Navy, and Marines all employ the F-35 Lightning II. It is deployed worldwide. These and many other aircraft are discussed in detail in Significant American Military Aircraft, available in print and electronic form, online, and at your favorite bookstore. Please visit orofinopressllc.com or dlakerider.com for more.